Welcome to our fundraising seminar, Keys to Success, Creative and Effective Promotion of Your Fundraising. We've got some great information for you today. The main key to success of your fundraising event is good communication. Virtual and hybrid events are new to most people and your guests need to feel comfortable participating. In-person events need to attract attendees as well. So communicating with them before, during, and after your event will ensure that they can easily join your fundraiser and then support you by bidding in the auction and donating to your cause. So you wanna create a communications plan and coordinate the messaging on all platforms, including your invitations, your website, social media, digital programs, videos, emails, and text messages. Excellent and consistent communication is essential if you want to connect with your supporters and hold a successful fundraising event. Keep it simple and to the point. Remember to make it fun, engage people, and they'll want to stay connected to your cause during your fundraising event and throughout the years. Here's a sample communications plan. Creating this will help you stay on track and be consistent as you push out posts and other communications on a regular basis. Let pictures tell your story. Use imagery and visuals, which are very important and can oftentimes communicate a message in a way that words cannot. This is from a campaign from the Heart Association. This social media campaign was on LinkedIn in which Meredith told her story. This picture got my attention and made me read her post. Let pictures tell your story. Here's another opportunity. According to a study by Georgetown University, 49% of nonprofit supporters wanted to donate more after seeing a photo on social media. So post photos from your recent fundraising events or a picture of a person who has benefited from your event and from your services. Here's just another example that shows the mission that's being accomplished and a picture is really worth a thousand words. The next is that you want to create a digital invitation and share this invitation on all of your platforms. This is a great way to entice your guests to read your invitation and respond by buying a ticket or donating. They are inexpensive and can include links to your event website and ticketing page as well as giving you a new platform to showcase your sponsors. This digital invitation was emailed to me and the email said, we are excited to announce the BCG virtual event. Click the link to view our invitation. So take a look here as we show you this digital invitation. I really love this interactive invitation. It entices you to want to read the invitation and get the information about the event. Gives you all the information about when the event's going to take place, how to join, and also showcases the sponsors. Your invitation should answer these four questions. Will your event be virtual, in person, or hybrid? And what does that mean? What is it for? When is it? And how do I join in the fun? You might also want to include other information about your entertainment, and other things that would entice people to purchase a ticket to your event. So if you're having a virtual or a hybrid event, you wanna explain why you are moving to a virtual event and how they can get involved. You wanna be positive and excited about your event. Do not focus on the negative reasons you have to do this, but focus on all the positive aspects. Because this is now a virtual or hybrid event, we can bring more people together from all over the world to participate. Answer the four questions that we focused on above. Promote the opening of ticket sales. That'll get you started. So share the opening of your ticket sales with great fanfare. Send out messages on all of your platforms. Don't forget LinkedIn as well as Instagram and Facebook. Include a link to purchase the tickets online. This is very important. You wanna make it easy for them to be able to purchase their tickets. Give them the link directly in your post if possible. We even have seen some clients put signups around the school, in the packets that go home with the kids, in the pickup line, and some even put a sticker on each child with a QR code to the ticket page. So if you have a school, you have other opportunities that nonprofits don't have. Here's a recent post announcing the opening of ticket sales. 
What I like about this post is that it is colorful. It includes images and attracts my attention. This was a Kentucky Derby virtual event, and they were selling Derby in a box. They included pictures of the Derby in boxes, both of the basic box and premium boxes, and all the items included in the box as well. The post included a link to their ticket page where the boxes could be purchased. Removing all barriers makes it easy for your guests to purchase their tickets. Mailed invitations are lovely, but they can be expensive and cannot have clickable links to websites. So consider including a QR code and a link to your ticket page on your mailed invitations so people can easily purchase their tickets. Also, if you post on Instagram, remember that you cannot post a link but have to include it in the profile page. Try a QR code here as well, or a text to register. Include videos from your auction chairs inviting people to purchase tickets. Here's a video from a recent event. We're getting down and derby on the Jeff Grilly Show today, and to talk about that, our good friends from uh, the Dallas Magnolias, uh, Dr. Carla Russo, will you start? Absolutely, well, we are so happy to be here, and thank you for having us. You know, the Dallas Magnolias, support various charities here in town. And one that we're so excited about is the upcoming day at the races in support of the Turtle Creek Conservancy. And so you see all this food spread out before me and we've got some great things to talk about in what is the oldest Kentucky Derby event here in Dallas. Here's another video letting people know there's only one more day to buy their tickets. Make it fun and include the kids because they're really cute. You have one, one more day, day to order your box. box. Showcase your sponsors. Spotlight different sponsor levels each day and include information about the event and the link to join. If using Instagram, include a QR code. Make the post personal. This post includes information about Travis, who was a part of the original group who started Day at the Races 12 years ago. And they talk about how they're thankful for his service on the board of directors. This was a great post because it was very personal and Travis is likely to share this on his social media as well. This is an example of another sponsor, but this was handled a little bit differently. Portland Glass posted this on their social media. Give your sponsors the graphics so they can post and link back to your social media page. So this is great because it was not the nonprofit posting it was the sponsor posting about the event. So this gives you exposure to a whole different group of people and all the people who are following this company's social media. Showcasing in-kind sponsors is also a great way to promote your event and promote your sponsors. So this post was for Lizzie B's Flower Shop and what you want to do is also be sure to use the at sign to tag your sponsor in the post and also tag them in the photo as well. This will let them know that you have posted something about them and allow your post to show up on their feed. Next, showcase your entertainment. Tease your followers with snapshots into the event. Give them information to get them interested. Will there be entertainment? Maybe posting a song from your musical entertainer would be a great way to promote your event. Show the promo video of your magician. Show the mixology box that they will receive and make a quick video from the mixologist who says, I'm looking forward to doing the mixology demonstration this Saturday. And always include a link for them to buy tickets to the event in every post you do. Silent auction is open. Okay, open the silent auction several days before your event to allow people to bid. When your event night arrives, you'll already have raised a significant amount of money in the silent auction. Be sure and make your messages fun and go along with your theme. This was a day at the races event and their social media post said, race on over to our online auction, which is now open. Make sure and link to the auction catalog in all of your posts. Give all the details of the event and how to bid. Make sure it makes a difference that they know how, to, how it's gonna happen and what page to go to. 
Be sure to highlight silent auction items. So you can pick some of your best items and make posts to highlight those items on a daily basis. Whole items to add to the catalog after a couple of days keep people's interest in the auction and gives you another reason to look at the catalog again and maybe another reason to email or text them. Next, you want to showcase your live auction items. Promoting your live auction items on all platforms will absolutely increase the proceeds of your event. Post a live auction item on the five days before the event to give people a chance to get ready to bid. They need to see the live auction item multiple times in different ways for it to sink in. Email, social media, the program, allow bidders time to connect with friends about going together to buy trips or dinners which have multiple seats. So this is just another example of a post showcasing a live auction item. So five days before your event, if you have 10 live auction items, showcase two of your items every day leading up to the event. Now it's important to tell guests how to bid in your auction. Especially if this is the first time that you're using online auction software or you're having a virtual event, post a video of how the software works and show how easy it is to bid and participate in the event. We're going to show an instructional video here that gives you an idea of what we post before some of our events. Bidding and donating is easy. Simply watch this brief tutorial and we'll have you ready to go in no time. You'll see a home button, a menu button, a green donate button, and a red pay button. Next to that you'll see a live button appear and under that you'll see a green bid live button appear. When you're ready to join the virtual event, click on the live button. Click play and be sure to click the unmute button at the top right corner of your screen. You're now watching our virtual event. When the live auction begins, you'll see a bid button appear. If you don't, you can click on the bid live button next to the menu and this will allow you to be able to bid in the live auction. Click on the amount that you want to bid that the auctioneer is asking for and if you're the winning bidder, a message will appear above the button saying you are the winning bidder. If, on the other hand, you're outbid, you will also receive a message saying you've been outbid and you can continue to bid at a higher level. When it's time to make a cash donation, click on the green Donate button. The donation levels will appear and you can choose to donate at a suggested level or you can put in any donation amount that you would like. Here's how to participate in the silent auction. So here we are, back on the main page. You can view all the auction items below. Click the item on which you'd like to bid. Click Fast Bid, then Yes. And the bid will go in at the minimum bid amount. You can also click on an item. Click Bid Set Max. Choose a higher bid amount. And then set a maximum bid. So when you place a bid at a lower fast bid amount, the system will automatically bid on your behalf up to that max bid. You can also click the donate button to place a donation at any level, either the suggested levels or a level that you choose. Before you bid, you can read about the details of each item. Simply click on the item. Then click the Details button to see the detailed information about it. Then you can proceed to bid on the item. You'll receive a text outbid notification when someone else outbids you for an item, and the green You Bid button will also change to red if you're losing an item. When it's time to check out, please click the red Pay button next to the menu, and you can review your receipt, see all the auction items you've won and the donations you've made. You can click Submit to charge the credit card you have on file, or you can change your credit card to a different one if you choose. An emailed receipt will be sent once you pay for your purchases. You also want to promote your retail or quantity items at your event. One client sold mystery boxes the week before the event, and they were all sold out before the event even began. You can also sell raffle tickets before your event. Our software makes this easy and you just have to send out the link to all your friends and family so that they can purchase. A small church that we were working with recently just made $86,000 on their raffle, and it was a great success. 
Great idea to showcase multi-sale and retail items. You can do the wine pull, the jewelry pull, diamond pull, grab bags, raffle tickets. Definitely post videos promoting your multi-sale items. Here's an example of a video promoting a wine pull for a recent event. Add on a bottle of amazing Scout & Cellar Clean Crafted Wine to your derby box. Scout & Cellar wines have no added sugars, pesticides, or chemicals. Just grapes to glass and spectacular tasting wine. Cheers! Also showcase your volunteers. They're such an important part of your organization. These types of posts about your volunteers are proven to be the most effective. They draw the most attention, get the most likes, and are shared the most. So sprinkle these types of posts throughout your entire campaign. This post of the volunteers putting together party boxes was the most popular post. It got the most shares and reposts surrounding this event. Show what is going on behind the scenes of your event to get people interested. If you show your supporters and volunteers, they will share the post and you will get more exposure for your event. It really accomplishes multiple things for you. Thanks for your volunteers and promotes your event at the same time. The next is to be sure and showcase your mission through your communications plan. Tell your story and get people interested in your mission. It's so important to create posts that tell people who you are helping and the good you are doing so they will know why they are spending their dollars with you. So why are we raising money at this event? Show videos as well as pictures. Talk about your programs. Talk about the projects that you're doing. Put a face to your cause and show the people that you serve. Countdown to your event. Let's get excited because it's almost event time. So you want to begin the countdown, maybe five days for, before your event, start posts that are counting down to the day of your event. Join the party tomorrow, 6.30 p.m. is our pre-event cocktail, guest mixologists will be performing, and then our event is beginning at 7 o'clock. There's still time to register. Click on the link in our bio to register. If you're having a virtual event, include a countdown of the hours until the event goes live and it also include a link to the event. Create a digital program. This program can be sent out the morning of your event. It gives everyone a way to connect and get ready to attend your virtual event or in-person event. So this is an example of a digital program. And what's great about a digital program is that it can do so much more than a paper program and it's virtually free. You can have recorded messages from your board of directors, your auction chairs, or headmaster, or you can have a mission video that is linked into your program. You can also link to all of your sponsor websites. It's such great exposure for your sponsors. So let's take a look at an example here of a digital program. I love this because it works just like a book. When you click on it, the pages flip. You can include the night's events and everything for your timeline for the night of your event. And then they included information about their photo booth here, which I thought was a great idea, and you could click directly to the virtual photo booth. Of course, they thanked all of their sponsors, and as we mentioned before, you can hyperlink to your sponsors' websites. And because this just lives on the web for a long time, it gives them great exposure. Let's click all the way to the back and I want to show you that they're going to give details for the call for compassion, which is the fund to need or giving moment, as well as showcasing each one of the live auction items. This is such a great way to be able to promote your live auctions and allow people to get educated before they get to the event. And then of course, they're gonna include their auction rules and thanks to all of their committees and their board of directors. Create engagement by sharing pictures of watch parties on social media. This seems to be a hit everywhere we go. So if you're doing a virtual event or a hybrid event, you're gonna have some people who are watching from home. But many of these people will be having a small watch party. So. Showing these pictures is a great way to connect your guests. So encourage your guests to post pictures of their watch parties. 
use the hashtag for your event with the pictures as they post and maybe even give a prize for sharing. Ask for donations and continue fundraising after the event. It's not over after the event, it continues. So you want to include a link to your donation page on all of these posts. So encourage your donations on social media by text to give. You basically let people know you have a keyword that you choose that will be texted to a number and that will take them directly to your donation page or you can use a QR code. The thing that's so great about COVID is that now everyone knows how to use a QR code if they go to restaurants. Um, so use that QR code that will take them, they can scan, and it'll take them directly to your donation page. And also encourage more giving with matching donations. Let people know that if you have a match that their donations will be doubled by our match of, let's say, $100,000. Scoreboards showcase donors and encourage more people to donate. Embed an active scoreboard on your social media so people can see their names when they donate and the numbers rise in real time. Also post a recording of your virtual event or your program the next day and add a donate button. This is great because it allows you to just to do some post event promotion of your organization. Continue the silent auction after the virtual event with a recording of the event. Now, this is one way to do it. One last chance to join the fun. The Heartbeats Gala silent auction closes at 6 p.m. Central today. Not the day of the event, but the day after. Continue the donation opportunity until the day after you have the in-person event. Or a virtual event. Either way. Right. Now it's time to thank your sponsors and your supporters. It's so important to tell people about the results of your event and say thank you. Tell them what they were able to accomplish together. A phone call to your big donors and your auction chairs is always important to make. In addition, thank your sponsors, your volunteers, your auction chairs publicly as well as tag them so they see the post. This will go a long way in building strong supporters and volunteers. Telling people the results of the event is important as well and saying, we could not do this without all of your help or, hey, we need a little bit more of your help to almost reach our goal. So social media really is a powerful tool and it can be used for much more than event promotion. It can be used to connect with your supporters, to strengthen the bond between your donors and your mission and your programs. We offer a free consultation to discuss your event and help engineer your most successful event ever. So contact us at muradauctions.com to discuss how to take your fundraising event to the next level. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to get more fundraising success strategies. I'm Lewis Murad. Thanks for watching.